Gonna build a mountain from a little hill. Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel of this new video for Let's Play Franchise Mode. This is all pre-recorded, so hopefully we can kill some time before the game will finally launch because it's taking forever between beta and launch. So hopefully you guys will enjoy this series and hopefully it can be as long as possible. So yeah, let's just jump into it. And as you can see, we did a few things off camera because I did want to fill it up a little bit. So I just added a little bit of fencing right over here and some more trees. And I did do a little bit of detailing over here. Just a really tiny little bit, just to give the buildings a bit more feeling. And uh, I think I did that with all the buildings and also added some fencing right over here. So yeah, just to give it a little bit more of a feeling. And I think it's turning out quite nicely looking at it from above i think it's okay it's, it's this series is not focused on creativity it's definitely more focused on the gameplay itself also i would not be able to record this series at all because it's gonna take too much time to put a lot of effort into the detailing so yeah hopefully you guys will enjoy we really will put a lot of focus into all the management and what we're going to do today like i really love this area with the snow so I'm kind of thinking to create a timber wolf habitat on this section. And before we want to do that, I want to see if we can expand this path also a little bit so it's not too busy over here. So let's have a look at some paths. If you hold control, you can just move your path without it snapping to your other path. So that's really easy if you didn't know that. And then we're going to make this a nice round curve as we always like to do. Perfect. Okay, so now we have more paths. So I do want to add some quick fencing right over here. And this was the last one. I do like these fencing a lot. They give a lot of feeling. And like, I don't know, they look just really beautiful and it fits so well with the environment we're going for. And then we're going to create a timber wolf habitat. And I am thinking to maybe create some kind of roundabout area right over here in the middle of that. I'm not sure if that's going to work out, but we can try to do that. Let's just start again with the red brick colored uh, in lockdown for a long time oh no what happened unbox all animals i maybe messed up a little bit with their path so we might want to check that okay oh no that's no big issue okay so maybe during my building the last time it got locked off could definitely be the case want to do is something I haven't tried yet so hopefully it's going to work we need to delete at least one section I think and this is the almost the middle section so it should be a little bit longer on that side let's add it just a little bit more I really hope this is going to work that would be really cool more space and Okay, well, that one is deleted. That's also fine because as long as we can create something and then create a roundabout like this, and then we do like this. So basically, these people are able to walk in the habitat in the middle section. So we can maybe do something really cool over here. But we have to make sure it is big enough, of course, so that's going to be a challenge too. <laughs> Ooh, in 
interesting. You can use C to move it. That's amazing. I didn't know that. I was so much looking for that option. So it does work. Can we just connect you? Yeah, we can. Perfect. Okay, so now we can delete that. So you can just choose the angle. Oh my goodness. That's amazing. That's so useful and probably a lot of people are now like, Oh, why do I find this out right now when the beta is ending? I had no idea you could do this. <laughs> not a perfect round circle but I think it's pretty close and it also shows that it's possible which is also very nice to know and we're going to replace some things of course and uh, let's see so what I want to do I want to have glass here do I want to have glass here don't I just want to have logs here with a window because I really like that and we can have like some kind of roof maybe on top of it. That would be really cool. But we're also going to have one window over here and one window over there. And I do have to probably expand it just a little bit. not perfect but it's the best I can do for the amount of time I have let's have a look construction let's go and build some kind of shelter here for at least the people do we have anything tag I don't think we have let's see if this is going to work I hope it will uh, we want it to stick out just a little bit Ooh, that would be nice if that pillar could stick out too two three Four. Might be a bit too long. We can change that. We're gonna we're gonna raise these fences by the way, so don't worry about that. It's just to be sure that this is going to fit. And then we're going to rotate it and see what we end up with. Like that. And then we're gonna copy you to the other side too. It's not perfect, but we have an interesting shape and we have a round shape which is also very nice so we're just gonna select it and we're gonna move it up just a little bit and we're going to move these barriers up too and we're gonna see if it sticks out like that oh i don't really like these pillars but maybe if we just replace these then it's all good Perfect. Okay, nice. For something very easy, but a round shape. I think this is working fine. And what we also can do is change the size of these windows just a little bit. And so we go to this tab and then we go to window top height. And then we go to and lower the top down just a little bit because I think that fits more the people are not able to see it anyway so I think this is a really nice example of a simple thing which you can do with the fencing tool without too much effort the people can actually stand here and see the animals on all sides and I actually absolutely like that I absolutely love that idea now you can do crazy things of course with some tunnels or some caves or anything like that but we're not going to focus on that too much right now as I said I'm going to put down some of the coolers so we can make sure this habitat will be nice and cool for the timber wolves <laughs> I'm gonna do some terrain forming. We do wanna have some kind of building over here. Also, 
the tamer wolves do need some kind of shelter so we might want to make some kind of cave with some rocks if that would work out that would be really nice maybe we can create the staff building just right over here like we did and maybe it can have like an entrance into the cave that would be cool but it's gonna be hard because you don't want to mess up with the area they walk on we need of course a facility for their food so a small keeper's hut on this side and we also need some electricity and that all perfectly connects and now we can make sure that the timber wolves get into their habitat so we have amelia and lucas move <laughs> Okay, now I hear you guys think. I hear you. I hear you. This is all turning red, lady. What are you doing? It's fine. It's absolutely fine. Because we're gonna make sure that the average welfare will be in green. And that will make sure that we don't have any issues. Oh yeah, you can howl. We're gonna check you out in just a bit. I am going to find some things that we can hopefully add to your habitat to give you some food do you want sprinklers hmm. dog bow enrichment perfect so let's add a feeding tray i think we're going to put you right over here and we're going to add a dog ball enrichment on this side and i'm going to show you around just a little bit and we want some water bowls of course no we, we're just gonna add the water pipe and we're going to add you right over here can we add you next to there no so people can see them and we can have we can have a sprinkler if you want i mean it's all fine for me and just make sure that it's low in temperature so you won't get mad at me and let's have a look. I think we are good to go. We obviously need to do this building section, but let me just show you guys how this is looking. You may have wondered like, hmm, okay, lady, uh, why did you do that with all the raw, uh, like putting down the shelter first? I thought that was like the easiest way to just make sure that it was able to be used by the timber rules regarding height because that can be an issue. And I thought, you know what, it's, it's gonna be fine. We're gonna do it quickly. 
and I think this is a pretty easy and quick way of just creating a shelter and then putting down some rocks around it then you have the shape already and then just move it out a little bit to make it a little bit more natural and then you're all good i thought this was a very easy and clever way to make some kind of shelter for them and make them happy with it too so the only thing we forgot now are the donation boxes we can use this middle section to put down this speaker and just put it down into the ground if we can click you can you please move for me dude move dude yeah there you go i think this would be perfect nice look at that guys isn't that awesome i really like this idea imagine what we can do with this when the game will launch this is really cool and the people can just sit down and relax here and enjoy the timber wolves and you can put down some benches i'm not really sure maybe we just should just put down one picnic bench and the people can just sit down and relax are you happy in your habitat you see now it's all green the welfare so it doesn't matter that this is red which is for me really good to know because then i can play franchise mode and do creative stuff as we are doing well, I wanted to say right now, but you guys are watching this after beta. So, um, yeah, as I did in my series with the speed build one, I was just really enjoying the franchise mode and just putting down as many stuff as possible. Wow, you're so pretty. Oh, I'm so happy with how this turned out, even though we could do way more than that, but just some simple things and it already looks so well. And especially with this, I'm really happy that this is working out so far. I'm really excited for that. So hopefully they will get some food very soon and then they can have some really cute babies. Oh, that's going to be so much fun, guys. I'd love to see you play with the dog ball. Did anyone already play with it? I don't think so. We can, by the way, just put those heaters into the ground so you won't see them. We can do that. We can do that. I will sometimes do an episode in between, or not an episode, maybe just off camera, just a little bit of fixing and stuff around it. So we can really focus on mostly on gameplay and just have some fun. Oh, the people are using a picnic bench. That's so cool. I really like the look of this. I really hope we can see some babies really soon because that would be the most adorable thing ever. Two and a half years old and five and a half years old. So you don't have that much time. I did hear that in the beta there are not... Not all animations are in the beta, so like interactions with each other. Uh, a lot of those things we will see after launch, so I'm really excited to see more of that and just explore all the animals and just love them all one by one. That's gonna be so much fun. <laughs> Amazing, guys. These creatures are so beautiful. I can't wait to play more with this once we have, when the game will launch, to do different variations of these kind of roundabouts inside of a habitat that would be really fun to experiment more with so yeah i'm really excited for that please do guys let me know in the comment section what you think of this episode please do make sure to subscribe of course if you already haven't and if you are excited for the real creative play once we get the game at launch and yeah i just really hope to see you on the next one thank you guys so much for watching bye guys I'm gonna go to the hospital.